he told me you killed him. No. I am your father. No! Yo, what is up you guys? This is Gatsun. Welcome back. Today you guys we're talking about the rest of the update features. Uh, usually Supercell will do extra features for the forums. We're not allowed to show it, but we can talk about it. And I'm going to show you guys with the new Lava Hound and Balloon. Alright you guys, we're into battle. We're going to be showing off the new troops while I talk about the extra update features and how I feel they are beneficial and what exactly they mean. I'll try and go into detail with this stuff you guys. Uh, first off, we have editing mode tools, which is a bunch of features added to making editing layouts easier. So this is basically when you go into editing mode, uh, we are given a bunch of extra tools to help out with the editing process. Now I really can't show you or tell you exactly uh, all the specifics, but I do know that it is something that's going to make it editing your base easier. And it'll be really cool. Uh, the second thing we have is donate fully trained troops slash spells from production queues even if your army is full. So if you have a full army camp, uh, you can still donate troops from your production queues. And I believe it's not going to take away from your army. Uh, if you're cooking them, then that will be transferred over. That's what I believe that means. Uh, drag troops spells anywhere into the uh, training queue. I believe that's self-explanatory. Dragging troops and spells anywhere into a training queue. Your training progress is transferred. Uh, gem troops spells for donation directly from the donation context menu. Okay, so what I believe this, I believe this ties in with donate fully trained troops, the other feature that we got. Uh, basically, this means if you're watching, I believe, if you're watching a replay or if you're in chat, you can donate troops that way. You don't have to go into your barracks and cook them up. Uh, you can just donate them right there, and you don't have to waste time trying to get these guys produced and cooked up. Uh, let's see. The next thing we got is war logs. For any clan can now be publicly viewed. You know, I was a little disappointed with this one. Um, they said you can disable this, but it basically... This will hurt me because usually I would go into the King's Rock Clan, the leaderboard dudes, and then give the replay that was exclusive. And no one else had access to this unless you knew a leaderboard clan. However, now you could just go into a leaderboard clan and watch their replays. Uh, which, okay, I'll take that back. That's actually really cool. If you want to look at clans that, that are higher up and you don't, you've never seen some of the leader, leaderboard wars and stuff, then now you're able to do it unless they disable it. The clan themselves can disable that feature. But, I mean, that's kind of like irrelevant now for my Kings of Clash series. You can just go watch the King's Rock replays. Uh, which will be actually more up to date. And you guys don't have to wait for me posting it. So, I guess that's cool too. Uh, next thing, we have a builder suggestion. Tab builder info to see and select suggested upgrades to perform. So, basically, this means we have uh, a new feature with the builder icon. When you touch it, it'll tell you which is the best upgrade for you next. Uh, so for example, if you have an archer tower level two and then a cannon level eight, you will probably be suggested to upgrade the, ar the archer um, tower level two, which would probably be cheaper and faster. So I believe that is now how it's gonna help us with upgrading. Uh, next we have live spectator count, which is showing us how many people are watching the attack. So if we have 10 people, it'll tell you 10 people are watching. Be pretty basic, and I believe that's the same thing as on uh, Class Royale. We can see how many people are watching the replays, and it gives you a number. Okay, the last thing is chat stream revamp with built-in request button. So I believe that means our chat will have a now built-in request button, and I believe even if we're watching replays and stuff, we could probably request that way. We don't have to exit and do all this stuff. That's what I think that means. I could be wrong, but it sounds like that from my opinion. Uh, but you guys, you can tell me what you think if maybe I got some of these wrongs and you think something else may mean something differently. Let me know in the comment box. I would like to know. Uh, and we can figure all this stuff out. <laughs> okay, you guys. So that basically covers all of the updates that we were given, including the bonus ones that the forum gets. So I'm interested to know which one is your favorite. Uh, you know, to be honest, I think the Lava Hound and the Balloon uh, getting their upgraded levels is really awesome. And I feel, you know, that's going to help out with the air attacks because, to be honest, with the Valkyries, the upgraded troops with the Valkyries, that kind of like 
is making everyone go to ground attacks now, and it used to be. Uh, we used to have all air attacks, and so I feel this is Super Seal's response to getting people back to air, you know, troops, which I feel are actually a lot stronger than ground troops. We just have to balance it out and rebalance these troops because the Valkyries are really strong. So I don't really think it's a matter of just nerfing the Valkyries. It's, it's matter. It's a matter of bringing the other troops up to speed and making them stronger as well. So you guys, that is all the upgrades. Tell me what you think in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. This is Godson, and I will see you next time. Godson out.